Hi there, my name is Richard Jones. I'm the head of Bryanston School. We are a 3 to 18 co educational school based in Dorset. Um, we are full range of boarding and also day places available. In terms of describing Bryanston, I would say that we, we have pretty wide corridors at the school. We're, we're, we talk a lot about breadth of opportunities, whether that's in the co-curricular or in the academic sphere. So through uh, sixth form, we offer both the A-level and the IB. We also talk an awful lot about independence and creative thinking. And for us, it's about taking our pupils on a journey through their time at Bryanston and preparing them for life beyond. A big jewel in the crown here is our one-to-one -one tutoring, which allows for a really individualised and personalised approach to our pupils. Um, and finally, looking ahead to the future, we're very much talking about four key pillars, which are based around excellence in the areas of sports and wellbeing, creative and performing arts, entrepreneurship and innovation, and also the digital world. Keeping me awake at night, um, from a school perspective, I've got a really good team in place, so actually I don't worry too much about that. It would probably be, my, I've got two young boys, and, and actually they keep me awake sometimes. A crime. Um, I recently watched a dreadful film on Netflix called Red Notice, I think it was, with, uh, with The Rock and, um, and Ryan Reynolds. And although the film wasn't particularly good, it was all about an art thief and a, and a very sort of tactical heist. And I think something like that would, I think maybe an art thief, I think that's what I'd go for. Superpower. I would probably say the ability to be in more than one place at the same time. Um, being ahead in a, in, a, in a busy boarding school can be quite challenging sometimes and you obviously want to get to as many different events as possible but can't always do it so, so that's what I would go for. What I answer to this and what they say might be slightly different but no I'd, I'd hope that they would say I'm approachable, that I'm positive um, and supportive and I often talk about the Japanese term ikigai so they might mention that which is something I talk to them about a lot which is finding your purpose. Um, so they probably mentioned that in there as well. If I wasn't a head, um, well before coming, I did a couple of different things before coming into teaching, um, but straight after university, I actually went down the entrepreneur route. I quite enjoy coming up with, with my own ideas. I actually ended up buying a couple of camper vans that, uh, that I rented out to, to backpackers who took them around Europe and things like that. So if I wasn't, if I didn't go into teaching, I, I'd like to think that I would do something of my, something of my own accord and uh, something like that. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this short video about Bryanston. Um, I do hope that you'll come and visit us and please do have a look on our website and contact our admissions team if you'd like more information. Thank you. Thank you.